In producing 20 episodes of the dossier, the goal was to tell the story of Phil Carson and allow him and the case files a platform to inform and also explain the definitive cover-up that has transpired in the city of Los Angeles. In 2021, fake news and lies have become a common theme. And sadly, from the start of the LAPD investigation, people like Bernard Parks, Bill Bratton, and even current police chief Michael Moore were well aware that if you can control the major news institution in a city in the LA Times, and you also have the backing of city attorneys, you then have the tools to be able to spread misinformation and lies. You have the tools that enables a cover-up. Without the institutions of the press to check power, absolute power ultimately corrupts. One thing I didn't go deep into as it relates to the story of Phil Carson and the cover-up is at this point, the power of information sharing on the internet has also been one of the biggest obstacles in searching for the truth. It has allowed characters like Greg Kading or Reggie Wright Jr. and many others to tell alternative stories different than the actual truth. As the podcast has gone on, you can hear in the voice of Phil Carson a lot of frustration and maybe even some anger. The reason behind that is pure and it's simple. In law enforcement documents that exist and information inside the LAPD and the FBI, there is hard evidence of this cover-up and there is hard evidence of who orchestrated the murder and no one has done anything with that information. I can't sit here and lie to you. When I found Phil Carson and I heard this story, I personally thought that when he went public, that would change the current dynamic. It would cause a groundswell. And that groundswell would allow Miss Wallace to refile her case. Phil Carson would be the launching pad to finally get real answers. The hip hop media has largely ignored the information contained in this podcast. And I don't know why. The mainstream media has been too busy with Trump, COVID, and the next disaster that plagues our country. So the murder of Biggie Smalls gets lost in all of that. But why should this surprise anyone, right? We've watched as a country, young black men and women murdered by the police on video cameras, plain as day. And even with those videos, justice, for the most part, is non-existent. I won't give up pursuing more leads and don't be surprised in the near future to hear breaking news or information that changes the case. Who knows? Maybe the FBI will get a conscious. Maybe someone inside the United States Attorney's Office in Los Angeles will want a career making this case. Or one more whistleblower will come forward and speak truth to power.